what's happening? Long Island, New York. Mike, what's happening? Listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you something. Yesterday, man. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday. <laughs> I was preparing to come on my YouTube. And all of a sudden, I noticed that, hey, Aaron, I noticed that I had no internet service. Virginia Beach. I had no internet service. Wow, what's going on? I'm looking at my modem. I'm looking at everything. I had nothing, nothing, nothing. Evidently, my fiber got cut. I have AT&T fiber, and it was cut. And so I had no internet, and I missed you guys. What's up, Peter? <laughs> covering today we are going to cover transitions what's up Marvin ah uh, okay father and son watching very good good to have you on yeah yeah and then the week before um hey Mike you are so funny good to see you Dan boy you are playing brother Dan I was checking you out on your on your Facebook um, but yeah, then the week before, I was stuck in Cleveland. <laughs> What's up, Rockin'? What's happening? Um, listen, let me tell you something. So it's been it's been a test. But I'm here now, and we are going to cover some stuff. I'm going to spend some time with you guys. We are going... Hey, Jonathan! We, uh, man, I missed you guys. I'm telling you, I was so upset. I was so upset. <laughs> I was sitting on my couch just pouting, just pouting, pouting, pouting. What's going on, Christopher? What's happening? Please, when you come in, Raymond, Mississippi, that's what I'm talking about. When you come in, please let me know where you are viewing from. Um, love to see where all of my people are viewing. We are family in here, and I'm just so glad to have you guys back. It's like, oh my God, I missed you. I missed you guys. So let me see you pop in. Like I said, what we're going to cover today is we're going to cover... Transitions. I hear a lot of players play, and they ask me a lot of times, um, "How do you move? And how was how was your moving so so smooth? And you know, going from here to what's happening, Romarcus? What's up? I'm back, Romarcus. I have internet. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. All right, you at the command center. Jay is at the command center. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Gary, that's New Jersey. Oh, man, I'm doing great. Thank you for, for uh, subscribing, Rockin' Dave. Rockin' Dave Byron. Man, I appreciate you hanging out with us. Remarkus, glad to have you back. I'm so, you know, listen, I, I wish I could just reach my arms around and just grab and hug all you guys. And say, yeah, we're back, we're back. But yeah, like I was saying, we're going to cover. What's up, Dre? Um, listen, we're going to cover transitions. A lot of times when we hear player or a lot of people, like I was saying earlier, a lot of people will ask me, how is your playing so smooth? Or how are you making these moves? And they're so smooth. Hey, man, what's happening, John? Um, how is, how are you doing this? So what, what are you thinking about? That's one of the favorite questions. Boy, there you go, David, with that guitar pastor stuff. Hey there. <laughs> so they ask, how how are you able to transis transition? Uh, Fresno, Cali. Uh, you live in South Carolina. Cool. I'm becoming South Carolina real shortly. What, Warren, what's happening? Boy, I'm so glad to see everybody. Listen, it seemed like y'all missed me because everybody's popping in. Everybody's popping in. Um, listen. So I'm asked all the time, how are you able to play and play between your chords? Everything just seems so smooth. <laughs> Stuff like that. Or if I'm playing... So 
but what happens with a lot of players, what they'll do, and it's not wrong. It don't, this is not wrong. It's just different in how I approach and maybe some other musicians you hear play. If I'm, if someone is playing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, they'll play. And there's nothing wrong with that. When I say one, two, three, four, we're talking about the degrees of uh, the major scale. What's up, Terry? Um, Richard, what's happening? Good to see you. Des Moines, Iowa. I'll be in Kansas next week. Um, next weekend, I'm going to, where am I going? To Wichita and Kansas City. Um, but anyway, I'm just so glad to see everybody. So what happens is, when you go one, two, three, and four, you hear this. I have a bad cable, and I'm gonna have to change it because this is going in and out. But anyway, what's up, Joe? What's happening, Jay? So you hear people play. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it's almost like blocking. When I hear a piano player play, or if I hear something like that, it's just like, mm, uh, 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 Instead, you can take and go. See, right there, what's up, M? What I just did, I slid into these chords, or I'll play the chord. If I'm playing a minor seven chord going to the two, I'll I'll play that minor seven if it's a um, playing a D minor seven chord. What I'll do is I'll play a C sharp minor seven and then go to the D minor seven. So what I just did was, and then the same thing going to the E minor seven. See that? So you got. And sliding into these chords and it gives it more of a vocal type and that's why I, I think when I'm playing I want to sound vocal like I'm singing the 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 chords or just just one to be so smooth or I can do something like that I'm gonna change my view so you guys can see my, my hands a little better so the first one I did was steps exactly half step slides that's right Andy I wouldn't play that going back I would play the diminished and go back yeah so <laughs> Jay don't start don't you start Jay don't start today don't 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 do that <laughs> or you can take that same progression and when before going to the two, you can play a diminish. And to me, like diminish and augmented chords are more transitional chords. Um, those chords are taking you from, from one place to the other. It's a movement in between. So if I was to do a diminish, I can go. All right, love the way you explain this. It makes it easier to understand. And yes, phrasing like this is good. Ah, see, I'm glad. That's that's why we're here. That's why we're here, Dave. That's why we're here. So you can take that same progression and use the diminish. You can go, right, playing that C, playing the C sharp diminish, playing that D minus seven, playing an E flat diminish, and then playing that E minus seven. So we have. See that? Instead of, instead of playing that, we have. See, even playing it like a 13 and then going to the four, which is the F. Okay, so you have options 
to moving into these different chords so it won't sound so blockish, doesn't sound so mechanical. You know, doing... Uh, let's do that. So we slid into to the two, then play that E flat um, diminished, three, one and four. See that? One, four. So we can do that. Okay? So here we go again. See that C13? Uh, uh. And then to the four. Playing these diminished chords gives you movement. It gives you transitions. It's almost like um, a movie fading in or dissolving into the next scene. Instead of just blatantly jumping right into that scene, it it flows and it, it just it it dissolves into that next scene. Just like when we're playing, we want our playing our chords. To, to dissolve into the next move without sounding blockish and choppy and choppy. You know, and even if you decided, okay, well, I don't want to do, I don't want to do a chord. So I use the diminished um, chord to go to the two. So if I wanted to play a little scale before the two, I can actually do that. Starting on the C sharp, I can play. So that's another transition. I'll do it once again. See? And that's right. It does sound melodic. It sounds vocal. It's it's moving smoothly instead of blocking out you know and this i use this method all the time i'm just um whenever i'm playing and i i i do it so much now i don't even really think about it so if i was just to, to any progression can you put that scale up? can can you put that scale up i'm not sure what you mean warren All it is is the notes out of the chord. All of it that is, Warren, is the notes when you play that that diminish C sharp diminish seven. So see that's what that is. See, hey, Walter. then going to the E flat so if I would instead of playing that diminished chord I could play see that so we have Brazil <laughs> hey what's up Tony and welcome 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 so you guys catch that? So we have different ways we can approach moving from chord to chord without sounding blockish. And that's, you know, that's my terminology is sounding blockish, <laughs> you know? So let me go back um, so you guys can see. I like to be able to see you guys. So um what do you think what do you think you catching this are you catching this yes we good yes yes 
questions so far? Yeah, it's been a minute. What I'm just doing now is I'm leading into wherever I'm moving. If I know that I'm going to the two, if I'm going to the six, if I'm going to the five, what I'm doing is I'm playing little scales to lead into those particular chords. Okay, good, Warren. You know, just like um, that's going to my six. That's that diminish. And then you can play the two. Just like if I was to play two five one, so what I did for the two five one, which was the the um, the D minor seven, playing off that D minor seven, going to that five. That dominant G, see, and I know I'm playing going to my one. And all of these things are lead-ins, transitions, going to the one. What's up, Jay? What's happening? Ah, oh, man, I was hoping you would be there. I was hoping you and... Um, you and, um, Luke was going to make it. Can I demonstrate one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, four, six, five progression. One, four, six, five. Like that, Peter. Right? Six. So one, four, right? Six. Right, four, six, five. So one, four, six, five. Thank you, thank you. I feel <laughs> you guys are hilarious. 
<laughs> David, you are hilarious. <laughs> yep. Um, let's do. Let's do. Let's do. Let me. Amazing Grace. play lead-ins and I'm gonna play it really slow I'm gonna change my fretboard view and I'm gonna play it again Spanky. slow down and I'm actually going to simplify it okay I'm, I'm really going to simplify it do it again triads most of the stuff that you hear me play listen I never sleep on a triad I like the other chords I love the big chords but a lot of times when I'm playing I'm playing with a big band I'm playing with bass player maybe two keyboard players um, drummer maybe even a horn player so do I need to play these 
um, these root notes and all of these these chords. Do I need to? Do I need? Mm -mm. No. I like to play the triads. I really like to play the triads. Then they, you know, everything is based around triads anyway. <laughs> Old school church, but yeah. So those are. Yeah, I'm an E. So, you hear how I'm moving from one point to the other, but I'm not just blocking it. I'm actually doing fills and lead-ins and chord transitions. Um, I'm doing all of this to move and to the next place without sounding so, uh, 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 uh. Let's take another song. Let's take a real simple song. Let's take the old song by the Hawkins family. Not, it was actually Edwin Hawkins wrote, Oh Happy Day. So he played. simple one and what I, I don't hear a lot of people doing when they play that song is they're not keeping that um, a flat when they go to the four that a flat is still staying there I hear it play but it's actually simple progression we can move into the transition just like I did with one of the chords I did a chromatic so even playing that we can move to the four to the five actually uh, that's the two right that's the two I'm sorry right Two, five, one, four. So going from the two to the five. the view before Jay asked me so we got going to the two to the five we have right so what I did was
So we adding little fills and moves to transition from one chord to the next. And that's how I'm able to do it. Now, other people may have other concepts they may use to make it flow differently. And that, if that works, by all means, great. But for me, Twinkle little star. <laughs> what it is I'm, I'm always hearing music all right Dave stop laughing Jay uh, when you're traveling and can't take your amp which effects process do you use and do you go direct uh, we kind of get off the subject but I'll answer this real quick I use um, I use a helix um, the floor and if there's not an amp or there's not a a usable amp, I should say. I'll use the um, the uh, XLR out. I have amp simulations that I've, I've created um, that sounds exactly like my amps. Or I'll take this, which is the Quilter. It's a little small amp. This is a 200 watt amplifier head. Has an XLR out, a direct out. I can go out of this um, Quilter and it's just like I'm, I have an amplifier and all I need is monitor or some in-ears and I'm good to go. Okay. Questions, any more questions? Questions, I've been gone for a minute so I know you guys have something for me. Chicago. So even like playing scales and stuff, I'm thinking chords, and these all work in tr into transitions. Yeah, he baited me, man. See, see, Dave, Dave is a new bootlegger. See, Romarcus and Mike are and Jay and Sonya are all old boot bootleggers. Those are my old bootleggers. Do I um, go to my website? I have a website, kevinwilsonguitar.com. I have a free, 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 free mini course um, from absolute beginners to beginners to intermediate to advanced mini course. So um, please go visit my website, kevinwilsonguitar.com, and you'll be able to grab a lot of the stuff that I'm covering here, but a little bit more in depth. Uh, Paul, what's happening? Thank 
you. Can you play the scale again? That you play a little slower. <laughs> uh, Warren, um, I think you were talking about the, the little diminished when I went. That one. Um, let me do go back to the fret. So I was going, and instead of playing that diminished, I played. And then I played the E flat. How can I play like this? I really love it. Thank you so much. You know what? You can play. If I can do it, you can do it. But a lot of the stuff, like I was telling the, um, the young man just a second ago, um, a lot of the stuff that um, I, I do and my approaches is on my website. And I do a free mini course. Costs you absolutely nothing. Um, go to KevinWilsonGuitar.com. KevinWilsonGuitar.com. And... Sign up for my mini course if you're a beginner or where, wherever you are. Um, please. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. Landon Jordan, boy. <laughs> Landon Jordan is a remarkable. When I tell you this young man. I actually talked about him um, in an article. Paul Reed Smith did a a um, uh, uh, interview on that my on their front page. I was their feature artist for Paul Reed Smith, and I talked about Landon Jordan. And I'm telling you, he is a phenomenal guitar player, good guy, just all the way around. If you don't follow him, follow him um, Instagram, Facebook, all those social media platforms. I'm telling you, you're going to learn a lot from that guy. I'm a, I'm actually a fan of his. <laughs> he don't think so. He's like, come on, um, don't do that to me. Can I do another theory quiz? Your custom 22. <laughs> you guys are taking me out. You guys are taking me out. You are welcome. Nah, it's okay, Dave. It's, it's all right. You guys are, are good. Um... When is the next boot camp? It's going to be a minute. It's going to be a minute, um, Jonathan. But I got some stuff that's... Go, go to my... Follow me. Stay on my website. Let me get off my... Because I'm looking at myself. I'm just holding a fretboard. Um, yeah. So just hang with me. Got some really good stuff coming down the pipe. Paul, I helped... Man, let me tell you something. Thank you so much. I'm glad you were able to... Um, you was able to grab some information from that. We put, we pour a lot into that mini course. Yes, Mr. Red, you signing up for the mini course today. Very, very good. <laughs> uh, Sonia said, keep my name out of your mouth. <laughs> with my Wilson for <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know you was on. I drew you out. I'm telling you. <laughs> Landon, I mean it, man. <laughs> I mean it, man. I, I I have the utmost respect for you, man. Keep doing what you're doing. A lot of you guys probably seen him out on tour with different artists. I'm not going to start calling names, but he plays with some humongous, um, humongous artists. Mike, stop laughing because you know, you know Sonya. She, 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 she will slap me from, from. From her home place. <laughs> How can I play like this? I really love it. Um, you can play like this and actually play better than this by taking the time and really learning your instrument, learning your fretboard, um, learning theory. You can learn basic theory, learn how chords are built and how chords are connected and how... Um, how you can go from A to B and not really have to think about it. Practice. Listen to some of your favorite musicians and listen to um, not just guitar players. Listen to keyboard players. 
that's where I got a lot of my chord um, movements from. Um, stuff like... Um, that kind of stuff. I listen to keyboard players and learn those kind of movements. So you can listen to keyboard players. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Hilarious, hilarious. But yeah, so... Like when we are going into different transitions and we're moving from chord to chord, um, there are little things that will help you. Your playing become, you know, just a little bit more fluent. Um, hey, you know what? You a bad boy, Alvin. You a bad, bad boy. I'm following you, man. You are inspiration. I'm telling you for real. Uh, chord voices have become your thing now. Yes, yes, yes. You know, you know, just like that little movement right there. I'm going to show you this movement right here, and it's so simple but it sounds like you're doing a whole lot. And all of that is, is playing two chords, okay? That's that four and five, but we're playing different inversions of that same chord and keeping that A going. See, I just, I'm J, I just jumped on the inversion, and I, I, all I was playing was two inversions of the four, A and B. But keeping that A instead of hearing. Because I'm playing that A. you know by doing that it makes your playing sound more melodic and more fluent Questions, questions, questions. I see what you did. That's good. <laughs> That's good. That is good. stuff was just little extra stuff to lead me to my next chord so we have any more questions that's more quartet stuff there playing the one, going with my one. Diminish the 
it's another. And I'm going to tell you another. No, I'm not slowing it down for you, Romarcus. No. <laughs> um, I'm going to be in Virginia at the end of the month, too. Not sure where, because I know I'm, I'm going to Dover, Delaware. I'm going to some part of Virginia, and then I'm doing Wilmington, Delaware. Yes. When transitioning, do you play notes out of the chord? You know what? Absolutely, Jonathan. Absolutely. And when I'm playing a lot of these licks that you see me play, I'm playing off of chords. I'm playing... Yeah, I'll be in Richmond on Saturday. thinking chords so a lot of times like the chord this chord see inverted inverted see oh man i can't make it my wife has it oh man i hate you gonna miss it man we're gonna have some fun a lot of great guitar players a lot of my friends gonna be there a lot of really good guitar players. But yeah, back to what I was saying. He was asked, the question was asked, do I think about chords? Do I play notes out of the chords? I absolutely do. See? <laughs> what other chords go good with the key of F upper neck it's hard to play for me um let's do this so you're talking about F right right here right here is that what we're talking about Talking about here, this part of the neck. Near the tuning peg, yeah, that's where I'm at. kind of stuff <laughs> Jay you know I don't do songs I don't do songs like that I teach what's in the song Jay I teach you how to play around in the songs <laughs> see you know what you a you a beta too you a bootlegger too Jay <laughs> How 
how do you do chords that you are playing work so well together? It seems natural and fluent because what it is is I know my fretboard pretty good. So I know that I can play. <laughs> I know that I can play one, right? Two, three, four, five, six, right? See, knowing my fretboard and knowing that I'm able to play different things, um, Alvin, that I don't have to really search. And then I play a lot and I experiment. I, I make a lot of mistakes. I make a lot of mistakes and I learn from my mistakes. I'm not afraid to um, make mistakes because in those mistakes, I'm able to find different things. I, I was doing a, a lesson the other day and the person that we were working on a move that Howard Carroll from the Dixie Hummingbirds would do. And that per particular person played it and I think they made a mistake. And when I heard it, I said, whoa. And then they asked, well, what, what chord is that? And I researched it and I found what it was and I was able to take and, and mess with it and move it around and play different things. And I just learned from it. I played all kinds of stuff. I'm not going to do it now because I've been playing. See, somebody is saying, yo, you playing, you teaching us so much. I'm, my brain's about to, to burst. But the key is to know your fretboard. Being able to find... stuff <laughs> that was absolutely you Sonia it was you it was you and you opened that up to me Sonia opened that up and um, you know I didn't want to call her out but she I was we was in a private lesson and she was playing something and she was asking me about a, a chord and um, when we found that chord um I was able to mess with it and I ended up staying up maybe four hours just messing around, <laughs> messing around with that particular movement that I'm not going to play. <laughs> I'm not going to play it. Just like that move right there. Okay, I'm going to give you all that because I got five more minutes. I'm going to show you this move. And then we're going to go, I'm going to answer your questions. I missed you guys so much. How many people we have on here right now? I have 53 people on here right now. I'm so glad to have each and every one of you guys on here. But what happened was, well, let me show you this, this movement. And I was playing something like, you know, like in a worship mode. We was in church in a, like a worship mode. But then I was listening to that and I said, wow, this is, this is so empty. I'm not getting the body that I would normally get when I play my chords. When I go here, that's empty. So I try to figure out a way to play and when, see that? So instead of going, see you and Mike and all of Sonya, all you guys and Ramarcus, y'all having a, a ball. I'm going to ignore y'all. I promise I am. But I see what you're doing. See, I went like that. Instead of playing. So if I play this, I moved it, I said, wow, I can do, going back to my one. And that's another transition. Oh, 
in it is another transitional chord. All right. Gave you that. <laughs> uh, you guys are hilarious. All right. I have a few more minutes. I'm going to answer some questions and then I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to answer some questions. What questions do I have? Let's see. Let's see what you guys have for me. What's up, Gino? Come on, Gino. Hey, you know what? I'm going to do a GoFundMe. I'm going to do a GoFundMe, okay? Because my friend, I'm not going to tell you who it is. I have a friend that's on here. I know he's laughing right now. I have a friend on here right now. He actually bought a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Paul Reed Smith guitar. I mean, this guitar was, oh, Wood Library. Wood Library guitar. Paul Reed Smith, Wood Library. It's a 509, I can tell you that. 509, Wood Library. You can look it up and you can see what the guitar is going for. So I'm excited for him because I know that Paul Reed Smith has sent me one. Um, here recently and I absolutely love the guitar so I watched him Sunday and he was um, he had pulled his guitar out thing looking gorgeous guitar Ooh, I'm tripping I said oh my god that guitar is so beautiful so he strikes it and he does what most guitar players should do when you first pull your guitar out start tuning so he started tuning his guitar Okay, and he looks over at the keyboard player and says, give me a E. <laughs> when he said, give me a E, I lost it. I'm like, this dude have a such and such a thousand dollar guitar and don't have a ten dollar clip on <laughs> I fell out I I felt I couldn't even watch the rest of his live I, I cut it off and I called him <laughs> I promise I'm not telling you nothing that I didn't tell him directly and he trying to explain no oh no oh no oh no you got thousands of dollars into this guitar thousands not not thousand thousands thousands <laughs> got hundreds into the strap strap i mean got crazy strap matching he clean he clean <laughs> and got picks Five dollar picks. <laughs> he got he got five dollar picks. Pull that out case. Paisley case. All of this. I mean fancy. Fancy. And then strap up. Yo. Yo, can you give me an E? I said went. <laughs> I'm not gonna call his name, but he is on here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, let me see. Somebody had said something here. I know it was six. Um, do you find it easier to play transitions with round picks? tips or point it right now i'm using a pointed one so it i like both of them i i'm a big v pick um fan i use v picks oh my god <laughs> so if you um i 
I was thinking about sharing that post on my. <laughs> I was thinking about sharing the post on my Facebook page, but I was. I said I'm not going to do that. Oh my goodness, Paul. Yeah, I mean, I was crying. I actually, we have a band chat. I put it in our band chat. And those guys was laughing so hard. They couldn't believe it. <laughs> now, the funny thing is, if I get to to my concert um, Saturday and I and my tune ain't working, I have to ask the keyboard player to give me an E. <laughs> I promise I'll whisper in his ear. You'll never know how I asked for it. <laughs> Hey, you guys have any more questions, man? This is this has been amazing. I've had a, a ball hanging out with you guys for this hour. Um, I'm gonna stay on a couple more minutes to ask, answer your questions, and I'm gonna jump off. I got some work to do. Um, preparing, preparing, preparing. Have some stuff I'm working on. For those who are interested in getting more information about um, how I approach and my my playing and all of this stuff, my the way that I. I go about my theory and all that good stuff. And if you want to get in contact with me, um, go to my website, kevinwilsonguitar.com. kevinwilsonguitar.com. And you will be able to reach out to me um, and, um, and take my mini course. And I said free mini course. A lot of great information there for absolute beginners, beginners, intermediate and advanced players. Yeah, somebody said hit the E. <laughs> he, he went. <laughs> uh, we gonna stop. We gonna stop. Kevin, have you ever seen or heard of a Gibson Epiphone Spotlight guitar? Ah. Ah. Hmm. Just like a Paul Reed Smith. I'm going to look it up. I'm definitely going to look it up. I'm trying to figure out if I'm a beginner or intermediate. You know what? I heard you play. So stop playing, Dan. Stop playing. <laughs> stop, stop joking. questions or do I or should I say as we do in the Kojic it's all hearts and minds are clear huh we have more any more any more questions listen thank you again for for hanging out with me all nah, we got 35 people still here thank you so much for hanging out it's been great I'm glad to be back um I'll be back next Monday Look for um, something on Thursday, a video clip on my YouTube channel, um, and we are we are at it, man. Thank you so much, Romarcus. Stop bootlegging me. Stop bootlegging me. You see, Romarcus, Mike, Sonya, Jay, <coughs> and there was one more person. There's somebody. Up. All y'all bootlegging me. <laughs> y'all be bootlegging me. For a little extra stuff. Oh, J yeah, J. J and J. Yep. So I got a bunch of bootleggers on here. <laughs> Listen, y'all have a great week. I appreciate you guys. And we'll see you next time, okay? Love you guys. Be safe, all right? I'm out.